Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today we are going to start a new series. That is, we are going to start Power BI Query Tutorial Series. And this is the episode 1. So let's see what we are going to learn in today's video. In today's video, we are going to learn what is Power Query. How does Power Query help with data acquisition? Power Query experiences, transformations and data flows, Power Query M formula language, what is it? And lastly, we will get to know where can you use Power Query. All these topics are going to be covered in today's video. So make sure you stay tuned with me till the end of this video. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. If you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. So the very first question comes into our mind, what is Power Query? Many of you who are already working with Power BI, you know what is Power Query. Or also many of you who have previously worked on Excel and there also you have used this query language, you know what is it and how to use it, how to get the data or how to do the transformations and all. But there are many other people who even doesn't have a clue about this, what is Power Query. So this tutorial is going to focus on them. So let's get to know what is Power Query. Power Query is a data transformation and data preparation engine. Power Query comes with a graphical interface for getting data from sources and a Power Query editor for applying transformations. Because the engine is available in many products and services, the destination where the data will be stored depends on where Power Query was used. Using Power Query, you can perform the extract, transform and load processing of the data. That means you can perform your ETL using Power Query only. We know if you have worked previously on the data transformation side, then there are the different tools available in the market like Informatica, SSIS, and now in Azure, there's Azure Data Factory tool as well. So those tools are being used to transform the data. That means extracting your data from the data source, then transforming it and then loading into the destination. But here we can use the Power Query as well. On your screen, you can see that there are the different sources available, whether it's a cloud, on-premise, or some other sources. And then using the Power Query, you can load the data into Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage, or Microsoft Dataverse, Microsoft Excel, Power BI. So all these places are the one where actually you can use this Power Query tool. So it's going to help you to get the data from your source and transform it and then load into the respective destinations and here our main focus is on power bi because in power bi we are going to use this power query to transform the data to load the data and then to display or visualize the data how does power query helps with data acquisition this is a very very good question how it's going to help us out well business users spend up to 80% of their time on data preparation, which delays the work of analysis and decision making. Several challenges contribute to this and Power Query helps address many of them. So let's see what are those challenges where we have to use the Power Query. As you can see on your screen, there are certain challenges like finding and connecting to data is too difficult, experiences for data connectivity are too fragmented, Data often needs to be reshaped before consumption or any shipping is one off and not repeatable. Or lastly, if we say volume velocity, that means rate of changes and variety, that means breadth of the data sources and data shapes. So all these kinds of challenges, all the data engineers or the data analysts or anyone who's working on the data side, the experiences and Power Query is there to address all these challenges. So how does it actually help? Like for example, we talk about this 
the very first finding and connecting to data is too difficult. Then in this case, Power Query enables connectivity to a wide range of data sources, including data of all sizes and shapes. So with the help of Power Query, you can even connect with more than hundreds of the data sources. Now, if you face experiences of data connectivity are too fragmented, well, in this case, Power Query helps you to consistency of experience and parity of query capabilities over all data sources. And if we talk about the data often needs to be reshaped before consumption, then here it's going to help you to transform the data. That means highly interactive and intuitive experience for rapidly and iteratively building queries over any data source of any size. So that's how Power Query is going to help you out. Let's move forward. Power Query experiences. So where you can use actually the Power Query? Well, there are mainly two places where you can use the Power Query. Power Query online and Power Query on desktop. The Power Query user experience is provided through the Power Query editor user interface. As I mentioned, you can either edit yourself in the Power Query editor or you can use the graphical user interface to use the Power Query. The goal of this interface is to help you apply the transformations you need simply by interacting with user-friendly set of ribbons, menus, buttons and other interactive components. The Power Query editor is the primary data preparation experience where you can connect to a wide range of data sources and apply hundreds of different data transformations by previewing data and selecting transformations from the UI that is user interface. These data transformation capabilities are common across all the data sources, whatever the underlying data source limitations are there. So when you create a new transformation step by interacting with the component of the Power Query interface, Power Query automatically creates the M code required to do the transformation so you don't need to write any query. So if you have already worked in the advanced query editor for Power BI, then you know that whenever you are applying any kind of transformation, so you are performing any operations, then automatically there are the steps that get generated on your right hand side into Power Query editor. And if you will go to the advanced query editor, you will find all their all M language code over there. So as I discussed with you earlier, there are mainly two Power Query experiences are available. One is Power Query Online, another is Power Query for desktop. So if you talk about the Power Query Online, well, you will find Power Query Online in integrations such as Power BI Data Flows, Microsoft Power Platform Data Flows, Azure Data Factory Wrangling Data Flows, and many more that provide the experience through an online web page. And if we talk about the Power Query for desktop, then you generally use it in either in the Microsoft Excel or in Power BI desktop. Transformation. So as we were discussing over here previously, there are so many transformations that we do with the help of Power Query itself. Whenever you are clicking on the Transform Data tab, then the new Power Query window opens over there. And then, as you can see on your screen, similar to this ribbons is going to appear where you can find the different buttons or the tabs where you will see the different transformations which you can apply on your data. So the transformation engine in Power Query includes many pre-built transformation functions that can be used through the graphical interface of the Power Query editor. These transformations can be as simple as removing a column or filtering rows or as common as using the first row as a table header. There are also advanced transformation options such as merge, append, group by, pivot and unpivot. In my previous Power BI videos, I have shown you everything regarding that but later on we are also going to work on those but in upcoming videos. All these transformations are made possible by choosing the transformation options in the menu and then applying the options required for that transformation. So if you haven't seen that, just go to your Power BI desktop, click on transform data and then the Power Query editor is going to open and over there you can see everything. Now comes to the data flows part. Well, this is very important topic. Data flows are going to be very very useful for your business if 
you want to build your small data warehouse or you want to gather data from the different data sources and you want to keep it on Power BI service only or even if you are using Azure there also it's going to be very much helpful whether you are using Azure Data Factory or you are going to use the SNPs analytics. So overall this is the one of the most significant topic in terms of data when you are using the Microsoft tools. Power Query can be used in many products such as Power BI and Excel. However, using Power Query within a product limits its uses to only that specific product. Data flows are a product agnostic service version of Power Query experience that runs in the cloud. Using data flows, you can get data and transform data in the same way. But instead of sending the output to Power BI or Excel, you can store the output in another storage option such as Dataverse or Azure Data Lake storage. This way, you can use the output of data flows in the product and services. This simply means that you don't need to use the Power BI or you don't need to use just the Excel or anything. You can just get your data from the different data sources and you can directly store on the Azure Cloud Storage. That cloud storage, maybe it can be your Azure SQL database or your Azure Data Lake storage or anything else. But you can perform all the operations or you can create your data warehouse kind of structure in the cloud itself. And then from there you can consume your data for your different reporting purpose or analysis purpose. Power Query M formula language. Well, as I mentioned you earlier, whenever you are using Power Query Editor, you will see a code similar to this. And this is known as Power Query M formula language. So it's known as a formula language. It's not like the typical conventional languages. If you want to perform certain advanced level operations, then this query is gonna help you out. And if you know how to read it or how to use the Power Query functions and other formulas, then it's gonna make your life much more comfortable while working on the Power BI report or to generate the advanced level of reports. In any data transformation scenario, there are some transformations that can't be done in the best way by using graphical editor. Some of these transformations might require special configuration and settings that the graphical interface doesn't currently support. The Power Query engine uses a script language behind the scene for all Power Query transformations. The Power Query M formula language, also known as M or M code language. The M language is the data transformation language for Power Query. Anything that happens in the query is ultimately written in M. Now the question comes, where can you use Power Query? Well, as you can see on your screen, this lists Microsoft products and services where Power Query can be found. So whether you are using Excel for Windows, Excel for Mac, Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Azure Data Factory, SSIS, SSAS or Dynamic 365 Customer Insights. So if you want to pause your screen, you can pause it and you can review this one over here. In our next video, we are going to discuss about get data and what are the different parts under this get data. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, if you want to learn more, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest videos.